Stick around for a word from today's sponsor, Sheath Underwear. I still haven't gotten to the point where I'm going to stand up and show you my uh, my waistband and my underwears, but uh, <laughs> they are my favorite. And uh, stick around. Great offer. Great underwear. Great company. Uh, see you there. Let, let's talk about this that broke yesterday. Uh, Madison Cawthorn, apparently, allegedly, there's video here. I'm going to play and read this tweet from someone who was on the scene. Um, wrecked into a, a cop car. <clears throat> Some people are postulating or asserting that he may have been drunk. I, I don't know any of those details. I don't know. I don't really care. Uh, two things I want to talk about, though, related to this, and it is the Florida has become the mecca for conservatives. That's where they go to, to hobnob with other conservatives and to show Donald Trump, to signal to Donald Trump that they're willing to travel to him to be in the club, both literally and figuratively. It used to be New York. Remember when Donald Trump got elected in 2017 and all of these people made the pilgrimage to Trump Tower to go meet with him? Mitt Romney had dinner famously and there was the picture of him like bending the knee to Donald Trump after all the things that he had said about him. Um, a, a cadre of celebrities and host of conservative dum-dums showed up. Robert Kennedy Jr. even showed up in those first few days to kiss the ring. And it's now Palm Beach, West Palm Beach, or wherever Mar-a-Lago is. In fact, Mar Madison Cawthorn was just in Mar-a-Lago just days before, uh, maybe hours before this, this crash that took place. Here's this tweet, though, uh, from Aletha at uh, women to dc this tweet has been edited. That This is the most recent edit since I took these screenshots. Former Republican Congressman Mad Madison Cawthorn, who was tailgating me, just, just rear-ended a Florida State Trooper. I'm shook. I was driving on I-75 South toward Miami in the left lane, and this black-tinted sports car was tailgating me relentlessly. I accelerated ahead and moved to the right lane in front of a tractor trailer to let the car by. Five minutes later, the highway comes to a complete stop. I swerve to the side so no one rear ends me and slow to a halt. Suddenly, the car door opens and a man in a wheelchair rolls out. At the same time, I have to navigate around his car. I look ahead to see the officer exiting from the rear from his rear ended vehicle, excuse me, holding his neck in the left lane as well. I pulled over to the right shoulder lane and stopped to, see, to ask if everyone was okay to offer assistance. I couldn't believe my eyes. It occurred to me that the former Congressman Cawthorn, she's spelling his name wrong, I believe, from North Carolina was the black car that stormed by me in an angry road rage tantrum. I spoke to the cop to see if he was okay as he was quite stunned and kept reaching for his neck. He said he was okay, asked if I wa uh, was a witness. I wasn't. I must have been 30 seconds behind. I gave them water as I didn't know what else to do after he thanked me for stopping. As I drove away and replayed the surreal scene in my head, I realized it was the same car who was, cars are not people, it's not who, it was the same car that was erratically and aggressively driving behind and then around me unbelievably scary and upsetting to see. And then parenthetically, she says, happened at 4.32 p.m., uh, heading south on I-75 toward uh, Miami around the Big Cypress Reservation. Madison Cawthorn has been uh, in a series of issues, legal issues, uh, even while being a congressman, trying to bring loaded weapons on airplanes, on public flights, uh, commercial flights. He uh, wrecked his, all kinds of driving without a license, reckless driving, all kinds of very entitled attitude type of things that you see from conservatives a lot. People who believe they are above the law while proclaiming themselves to be big fans of the rule of law, law and order types. Anyway, here is a, a brief vertical video to give you kind of a flavor for what took place. There's still a lot of questions out that we're going to follow this and find out what happens. But uh, it seems to be just another case of Republican entitlement 
from uh, the former congressman, Madison Cawthorn, from uh, the Asheville area of North Carolina. Watch this. Not looking good. A lot of things verified. Some of the things in this tweet. The cop constantly grabbing at his neck. Maybe he'll get a payday at the hands of the young Madison Cawthorn. The young, irresponsible, car wrecking, reckless driving, driving without a license, trying to bring loaded weapons on planes, Madison Madison Cawthorn. I don't know. Uh, Not good, certainly. Maybe a lesson to all of us to slow down a little bit when we're driving. I could certainly take a take a note out of that playbook. Uh, I'd love to know what you think, though. Uh, are you following this? 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. We can have a conversation in the comments. That would actually be helpful to trigger YouTube to recommend this channel to new viewers. All the engagement that you can give this video, whether it be a like or a comment or a share, watching it for as long as you can stand it. <laughs> All of those go a long way toward uh, helping trigger YouTube to recommend this channel to new viewers, and that is very, very helpful. Another thing that's helpful if you are in a financial position to do so is to to help me make these videos, help me produce these videos. You can click the join button below this video on YouTube, become a channel member for two bucks a month. You can go to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Those are great ways to help support. You can find my merch store, dollamore.info. Um, buy some merch. All those are great ways. Follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore. I'd love to see you there. And uh, I'll stick. Uh, I'll see you next time. Stick around. Be genuine. Take care of one another. And stick around for a word from today's sponsor, Sheath Underwear. Here in the United States, we grant separate powers to three co-equal branches of government: the legislative, the executive, and the judicial. Divided, each branch can better support the working of our government as a whole. Why shouldn't this practice carry over to the the governing of our own bodies? Rather than allowing your branch and berries to stew in a single stuffy cesspool, well, why not divide so as to diminish your discomfort? Sheath Underwear is here to help you separate your church and your state. Sheaths are the only underwear with the dual pouch system scientifically designed to keep your executive branch separated from your judicial, if you know what I mean. Democratize your drawers. Head to sheathunderwear.com slash dollamore now and score 20% off right away. It was invented by a U.S. Army veteran while serving a tour in Iraq. The idea for Sheath arose from the discomfort that was experienced in these harsh environments. As a former United States Marine stationed in that part of the world, I get the inspiration. I wear Sheath every single day, and they are the only boxers that can agreeably accommodate my tree trunk thighs and keep my branches of government carefully compartmentalized. And I'm not the only fan out there. Sheath are recommended by multiple doctors and urologists and have over 20,000 five-star reviews. The Airflow meshes, they're my favorite personally, but Sheath has tons of excellent styles and designs. And once you pick, Sheath will land them on your doorstep nearly instantly, thanks to blindingly fast shipping and amazing customer service. Also, your purchase doesn't just help you out. Sheath supports multiple charities like Socks for Soldiers and Doctors Without Borders. So you're making the world a better place too. Upgrade your undergarments right now. Score 20% off when you head to sheathunderwear.com slash dollamore and divide and conquer your discomfort. 
with sheath underwear. 